Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to edit light trails. Here's the before and after. The edit is more about enhancing what we already have. Before we dive right in, I would like to take a minute to talk about how I captured this kind of photo. A little behind the scenes. First of all, the time. I like the blue owl in particular. So I got there before it gets dark. It's always good to get more light in your camera because you have the flexibility to darken the image later in post versus not getting any details in the dark. The neon signage is obviously a huge plus and that's why I picked this location. Orange and blue are complementary colors. They look good together. Second, the composition. I've made some adjustments by moving the camera to a more central position. You might not get it right on the first attempt, but that's okay. Get there early and try all sorts of things before it gets dark. Oh, I forgot to mention, it was a rainy day, so it bounces off the light. Back to the composition, pay attention to the perspective. I think it's important to keep the building straight. It feels more balanced and pleasant. Don't try to angle your camera to get more light trails. For the exposure settings, I've tried 6 seconds, 15 seconds. I didn't put on anti filters, focal length 85mm, not a wide angle, so I can see the neon signs better because they look closer. I can't really control how the traffic move. I just took a bunch of shots and picked the most interesting ones. I hope these tips help you make better decisions and better planning. If you have a good photo to work with, the edit is much more enjoyable. We'll be using these panels in Lightroom. It's relatively simple. Shall we begin? First of all, minor adjustments on the level. Perfect. As for the exposure, you know the drill. Bring down the highlights and increase the shadows. It reveals more details, like on the billboards and the road. We'll come back to it in a second. The next step is clarity and texture. These are light sharpening the outline details, if there are any. The glow of the light trails is really bright. I want to create some separation, so it's not a big match. It's always good to go all the way to 100 and dial back to see what it does. I'll leave it at 20. Next up, the sky. In this panel, you can adjust a specific color easily. There are sliders for hue, saturation and luminance. I want it to be brighter and more saturated. The luminance is the brightness. If you decrease it, it becomes dark blue. The next step is really going to change the color of the sky. Go to Lens Correction. Enable it. You see the edges are brightened. However, we are going to add a vignette, a soft one. Dial it all the way to the left. By doing that, all the attention is now going to the middle. It looks pretty dark now. We're not done yet. Go back to the basic panel. Increase the shadows and whites. Now that's the contrast I want. The sky is a little bit too bright. Let's reset the luminance. The last step, spot removal. Every time I do long exposure shots, I'll see these spots. Dirt. I haven't figured it out yet. There is a checkbox here. It shows you the hidden words. If you want to play with the color temperature or funky colors, the tin slider really gives you the kick. 
Have fun. So what do you reckon? If you enjoyed the edit, please hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more edits like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.